Welcome back to Hermitcraft. All right, guys, today's the day. We're going to start getting into some of the cyberpunk details, and I'm really excited about that because it's going to bring this build some life. And in order to do that, I'm going to have to tackle a problem. The problem I had last episode was I didn't have a good way to get all the materials I needed for this, so we kind of had to do it the hard early game manual way. But wool, we're going to need because you guys like the texturing of this bottom one. It was a resounding yes b dubs is brilliant <laughs> in the comments so we're gonna go ahead and carry that look all the way up through all the windows and in order to do that i'm gonna have to amp up my game on wool collection because this isn't gonna cut it plus uh green fell in their last episode and broke it so uh we're gonna go ahead and upscale our wool production and i don't know exactly how i'm gonna do this just yet I have a bunch of little farms that I want to tuck in here, and I got to be careful not to do too many. I don't want to lag this area out. There's a lot of us occupying the space. But if we go over here, I've already done a little cactus farm. That helped us get the cyan dye that we needed for the build. And let's see if we got any. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is this little guy. This little guy, the little 11 by 11 cactus farm is doing the job. And I'm thinking maybe I can continue to use this area down here to house some farms. So I think... I'm going to go ahead and build one of the easiest wool tutorials I've ever seen from Ian X04, and it should give us a decent amount of wool. And we'll just do these little kind of small personal farms down here. All right, we've got the farm working, and here comes the wool as we speak. Perfect. Yeah, this was super easy. I'll put a link in the description for Ian X04's tutorial. And let's turn on the hitboxes, and I'll free cam it, and I can show you what's going on here. We've got a cell of six sheep right here, all standing on grass blocks. And then we've got a cell of another six sheep. I've got six white, six yellow, and or vice versa. And basically what happens is we're using a torch burnout clock. As soon as this block changes right here in the middle, the, the state changes, it's going to get detected and burn out the clock, which is shooting a couple dispensers with shears in them. One facing this way, one facing this way, and because we've kind of pushed the sheep over into the middle with these trapdoors just by a little bit, so all of their hitboxes are actually intersecting on this one block where the dispenser's facing, they actually all get sheared. And because I'm actually in glass right now, you can't tell, the blocks will go up through the glass because they kind of spawn on top of the sheep. Ian does a lot better job explaining the mechanics of it, but it is super simple and should give us plenty of wool for our personal needs. I'll probably need to make a couple more of these cells so that we have all 16 colors. Okay, so I'm going to let that run for a little while so that we can finish up our windows up top. In the meantime, I've been thinking about moving our current storage setup into the inside of this building. So not only do I want to do some space planning in here, I want to also be prepared for all the materials that we're going to need. I don't really feel like chopping a bunch of trees down, so I think instead I'm going to go borrow some bamboo from my neighbor. All right, we'll just take a little off the top right there. Yep, that'll do. Oh my gosh, we've got a slime. Does that mean this is a slime chunk? Oh, this is fantastic. I hope it is. Oh, uh, look at this. Oh, look at how squishy he is. <laughs> the animations, the fresh animations. It was a little, a little broken at the end of last episode. If you saw him, my sheep had no eyes. But oh my gosh, look at how squishy they are. These are amazing. And this is really good news because... We could use some slime, that's for sure. All right, now we can make sticky pistons and stuff. I don't know exactly where they spawned. I have to keep my eye on it. It could be this spot right here. Let's see. If we do F3G, yeah, this is a bit of a... I'm hoping he was here. I'm hoping this is a slime chunk. I'll have to look into that. If it's here, that wouldn't be as good since we've already built some farms here. But amazing. Okay, we could get ourselves a, a little... A little slime farm going. We don't need anything too big. Just need to support ourselves. And I took that bamboo that you saw me borrow and made a little bamboo farm. Little one. Just a little guy just to see if uh, how well this works. This is another thing I saw, well, when I was building the uh, sheep farm from Ian X04's video. At the end of it, kind of showed like, hey, this could be useful also for these kind of things. However, it's a bit much. The pistons are, are going uh, uh, pretty crazy every time a single bamboo grows. But... We're not just we're not just having it be bamboo. No, 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 no. More auto crafting happening. I went ahead and put in a little bit of redstone. And once this auto crafter fills up with all nine bamboo, it'll automatically turn it into blocks of bamboo. And I thought that could be useful because we are about to expand our storage inside the new building. And we're going to need a lot of chests for that. So now the chests 
are free. That's great. But while we were building the farms, I had a gift dropped off from Jem. So I've been helping Jem gather some materials, specifically the ones that she needed from the nether, because Jem doesn't really like going to the nether. <laughs> so I was in the nether and I said, okay, I can grab some stuff for you. I grabbed her some blackstone. I grabbed her some quartz. And um, she's grateful for it. So she has gifted us. Ooh couple diamonds okay so didn't need us all the nether quartz that's perfect because i will definitely need it oh this is amazing mini blocks these we get from the wandering traders and you got to be prepared when the wandering traders come around you got to have your emeralds ready you got to have at least one of the block ready that you want to buy and so that must not have been super easy she had to trade in a gold block for it and tnt so that's awesome we can definitely use these for decorating and I want to use a lot more mini blocks while we're doing the cyberpunk stuff and sea pickles. Okay, I think we can make a dye farm out of that if I'm not mistaken. Gold's always nice. Diamonds, of course, are always nice. And look at this, a coast armor trim. So that's cool. Okay, so I don't know if we'll apply this directly to our gear right now or if we want to save it and duplicate it and stuff. I'm just going to hold on to it till I decide what I want to do because we're going to be changing our look before the end of the episode. We're going to be going cyberpunk style. I was thinking about it. I don't want to wait for Demise to be over. There's still a couple people left, and who knows how long they're going to hold out. I'm just, I'm ready. I'm ready for some color. We're starting to build cyberpunk. I need to look the look. But I think before we do our wardrobe change, I will start to plan out the storage inside of the new building. And I guess we'll move a lot of this stuff. Or maybe, I mean, some of this stuff can probably stay. We don't need to move this. It's fine in here. And this is our concrete maker. It's uh, beautiful, I know. Oh, also, you might have noticed, yeah, things look a little differently. I did update my texture pack or my resource pack so that I could get these back, the arrows on the hoppers, so we know which way hoppers are facing, which is nice. We can see how much is in a composter. kind of shows the level, and uh, and it's, it's, it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Let's see. What else did I fix? I can't even remember. Um, didn't fix that. I still got a broken arm. Oh, and I suppose also we have the darker GUI now, so... Uh, I do prefer this kind of darker one, so it's not so bright every time I go to it. Anyway, just a few small changes I'm sure some of you noticed straight away, and I figured I better acknowledge that or else people might be confused. But I think I'm going to grab this free bamboo and use it to make some chests, and let's start moving. Actually, first I think I'm going to go ahead and make this slime farm be productive, because I did find out it's actually this chunk right here, and that is perfect. Look at how well... It lines up with these farms I've already put in. So I think all we really need to do is get a golem to lure the slime over here. And then if we can get them to get up onto this campfire and then just put some hoppers in the ground around here, I think we'll be able to collect plenty of slime balls. And yeah, that way as we're moving, hopefully this is also working for us. All right, we'll just push a little golem into this spot. Let's see, will that fit? Yeah, there we go. All right, that should be as simple as that. They're going to see the golem there. You see that red line? That's where they will see his vision and be attracted to come over here, hit this, and hopefully the slime balls, for the most part, will catch in there and end up in this chest. So, all right, we will uh, we'll go to about our business, and we'll come back and see if this actually works. The slime farm has been running for a little while now while I was out fishing. But not the kind of fishing you would think of when you think of fishing. No, this was a different kind of fishing. All right, fishing friends. Mm -hmm. I have mm -hmm. a I have a new technique that's that's been suggested to me by a, a viewer. I did a I did a single player test with just me, and it appears to work. But I need more people to to see if it it it's as oh. big as it could be. All right, let's but do it. We 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 need to find a pig. A pig, okay. A, a pig? Oh, there's oh, one yeah. at the top of the mountain. Yeah, yeah just what, ride them on we'll down. Take the, we'll take the pig down. The, we'll take the <laughs> pig down. Hopefully it will not die. There, uh, okay. this, this is the finest way to travel. Okay. Right, there's a very specific order that we need to do this thing in, people. So, mm -hmm. everyone <laughs> attach your fishing rod to this boat. Done. Right, now go up 30 blocks. Okay, okay 30 you blocks. You guys ready? Wait, no, I'm not ready. Uh, hold on. And it's, you, we can do this in our offhand. Okay, okay, okay. I'm ready. Guys, you ready? Yep. Yeah. Ready. So uh, as on go. Three, two, one, go. Uh... Oh. <laughs> that's even less. Wait, that's less than what I did on my own. 
<laughs> Let's just try it again. Try it again. Try it. Hey, this is more promising now. We're using our yeah. good arms. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I, I don't know if this is gonna work, but <laughs> let's let's try again. Three, two, one, go! Woo! What? Yes! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my god! What? Can't even see him! <laughs> He's still going! Whoa! <laughs> He's never coming down. Never. <laughs> He's iron. Holy god. cow! Okay, okay, here he comes. Oh my! He's just a speck. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. Oh, whoa. <laughs> that was amazing, dude. I was I, up there long enough I could write a novel. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That was that awesome. That was amazing. Okay. Right, you ready, Impulse? Ready for liftoff. Three, two, one, go. Woo! <laughs> oh, we are up here. Oh, my gosh, 400. Uh, 422, 422, we made it. Holy cow. I can see the whole world. <laughs> oh, that's so fun. Dude, oh my gosh. Best. That is so that's brilliant. The best thing. 422 is what I made it to. Oh, I didn't, I didn't think to check. check. I didn't check. <laughs> that's definitely better. That was just with three of us. Yeah. Later we'll yeah, get, yeah, we'll get yeah. more people. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. We'll, we'll go again. Bring the whole village. Yeah. It'll be amazing. <laughs> Etho, are you ready? Houston, <laughs> beam me up or whatever they say. <laughs> all right. So when I say go, we when I say go, we all pull. All right. Yep. Three. Okay. Two. One. Go. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait. The oh. Oh, he he's gone. gone. He's still going up. He's he gone. Still oh, he's up. still oh, going up. He's still up. going up. <laughs> <laughs> Houston, roll program. Oh, oh is he coming down? Yeah, he's coming down. I'm gonna try to hit the back. Oh, 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 I know. No, that is, that is oh, true. Two pigs. Wait, where do we get another pig from? Is there any pig The nearby? wilderness. Let's right. find out. Three, yeah, two, it. one, go. Woo! Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's higher. That's higher. Yeah, that seems higher. higher. That definitely seems higher. higher. That is higher. Wow, I don't That's, see them. I, they've, they've They're gone. They're gone. Okay, now they're coming back they down. I see them. Oh, here they come. Here they come. Whoa. Whoa! I still don't see him. Wait, oh, they're coming down. They're coming down. Oh, oh, that's way oh higher. Oh, <laughs> so we, we hit nearly 900 blocks. <laughs> Holy cow! <laughs> Dude, Whoa. that was amazing. Jeez. It is. <laughs> I died so much. That was amazing. <laughs> so that was pretty crazy to be able to launch somebody 900 blocks into the sky is absolutely insane, and it is quite the view once you're up there. But all right, it's time. Let's see what we got for slime balls. Hey, hey, two stacks in a bit. I will take it. That is some easy slime. I mean, we literally did next to nothing to get this thing up and running. So yeah, that is absolutely nice. We'll be able to make some slime blocks, sticky pistons, things like that as needed. And turns out this wolf arm, it's too good. <laughs> We've already filled up everything and the shears have run out. So I'm just going to leave them ran out because I don't need more wool at the moment, but everything is coming along great. I mean, look at that. We're, we're, we're getting all sorts of stuff. I did realize that we could convert this from blocks of bamboo to bamboo planks if we wanted. And then we could use that to make the chest. So it's still a two step process right now, uh, but we could use the auto crafter to take it a step further. But yeah, I'm hoping to get even more because we want to make a bunch of chests as i said before we want to move into our new storage room and so i need to go up in there and figure out how i want to lay things out i think i'm going to keep it pretty simple we're not going to automate it just yet uh i don't know if i'm going to automate it at all i've been thinking about it but we got a nice big space in here that we can use so i can start plopping down some chests and i think <laughs> we just had like a zombie turn into a drown under us oh yeah there he is which reminds me, I need some glow ink, like badly. If we're gonna do the cyberpunk thing, we want glow ink. We gotta make the signs nice and bright and vibrant. And in order to do that, we're gonna need lots and lots of glow ink. So I did find this area. Yep, there we go, there's one right there. I just need to come down to it every once in a while and find these guys. It would be nice if I could get some looting on my sword. I've been trying, but unsuccessful in getting looting so far. 
And it would be nice to have a couple spots down here where I can save myself if we start to run out of air. There we go. And unfortunately for us, I think that's the only glow squid around. Let's check the other side. There's another part to this. And sometimes they spawn over there as well. And let's see. I'm not seeing any. This does go down a bit. Oh, there's some over there, but there's literally no way to get air. So I'm going to need a door. Wait, hold on. Does scaffolding work? No. No, it does not. We got to get out of here. Oh, I'm back with the door. And look at this jackpot right here. We walked away, came back, and tons of them. This is great. Would be a good idea for me to get a glow ink farm going. However, that's going to be difficult in this area because there's just so many of these waterlogged caves around. But all right, not a bad haul from that 14. And if I had looting, we would have been much better shape there. So I guess I'll do a manual for now. I'll get thinking on how we could possibly do a nice glow ink farm in the future. I don't know if we just need to light areas up or drain them, uh, I, but I do want to keep it around here because I like the idea that as I'm kind of working on all the city stuff that we'll just have passive stuff coming in. Oh yeah, also check this out. I know we're going to need some end rods. So I went to the end with Pearl and Gem the other day during a live stream and we did a little bit of a collecting and everything went perfectly smooth as you would expect. Watch your step. Oh, oh no. No. Ah! Ah! no. Pearl, is that you? Ah! Pearl, Pearl. Yep. Pearl, why'd you do that? Ah! Okay, uh -oh. you good? Uh -oh. Are you okay? Uh -oh. you need help? Ah! You need... No, no. No, I'm gonna help. You're no, fine. No, no, I'm Pearl's gonna be absolutely fine. It's fine, absolutely fine. Maybe more water, Pearl. Maybe more water, Pearl. Back here, water, Pearl. Pearl, water, back here. Pearl, just stand in the water, Pearl. Come to me. Is Pearl is over there? The water is not gonna be a good idea. Parish, just circle over here. Here, come on, come on, you can do it. Just circle, just keep circling. Get the water, get the water, get the water, get the water, get the water. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Super successful trip, if you ask me, which means we can now begin detailing our cyberpunk building. But before we do that, I think it's time, guys. I am I'm sick of it. I'm sick. I'm sick of looking like this. We need some color. We need to punk it up. Oh, yeah, that is so much better. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. OK, OK, well. You, you may look at this and be like, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. But that's not all. We got more. We got more. Because I've heard a lot of you say impulse after last season, it just doesn't look right. It doesn't look right without the beard, right? And, and we want to bring the beard back, which we're going to do right now. Now, it may not be the big luscious beard I had as a dwarf, but we got a little bit hanging off the chin there. We got a little bit going on and some custom model for our hair. And check this out. I got to go in free cam mode so I could properly show you this. We got little gadgets and stuff on the side of our head connects to our glasses there. Look at that. How cool is this cyberpunk outfit? Oh, my gosh. I absolutely love it. Huge shout out to Max Doodles for drawing the initial art for this character and also to Epic Blue Mouse for the skin and also FC Dad for doing the model, uh, the, the beard and the hair. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at me. I, I got I got frosted tips, guys. Uh, bleach blonde hair. Well, I guess it's just it's yellow. It, it, it looks great. So now I am definitely in the mood to punk this place up. We're going to do this one right here. We're going to make ourselves a little more market if you will so we're gonna need a street coming through here eventually and a little sidewalk here and then there'll just be like little markets that sell stuff and i've been looking at this one and i've been thinking you know what i, I kind of miss the soup group from last season so what if the first thing we sell on the street here is soup so i'm gonna get some stuff together and we are gonna cyberpunk this thing out let's go
and our first market stall is done. I had oh, such a fun time designing this. You guys know this is not like me. <laughs> I'm, I, I have, you know, a history of building, you know, big buildings and stuff and, and more modern and, and more clean shapes and things like that. But doing decorative interiors, not really my gig. So I'm trying to push myself this season, and especially with the cyberpunk. We're going to need to do it. We're going to need to get the glowy signs and all the little details and things like that in these builds in order to make them actually look more cyberpunky. And I think this does the job. So this is our soup shop, and you can see we've got a couple soups for sale. And this is kind of like a terminal right here that people can walk up to and then type in the keyboard their order and then take a seat, and then they can get their, their drink, whatever that's going to be, and then their stews. This person orders a suspicious stew. And then uh, maybe we'll bring in some villagers or something to kind of bring some life in. We need some staff. Okay, i got to kind of parkour jump to get through there. It's, it's kind of tough. But here we go back here. Here's our kitchen area. We've got our smokers actually smoking, and we've got our sinks so we can wash dishes and wash our hands and all that kind of stuff, a little prep board so we can cut up some stuff and, you know, the, the all the veggies and whatnot. Got our, our blast furnace for cooking the food. You know, soup probably doesn't need that. <laughs> Nothing going to go in the oven, really, but that's okay. And then just some decorative stuff. We've got all of our tools hanging that we would use for cooking. And just little decorations here and there. And then I put in some painting just to kind of break up the, the wall there. I didn't mean for this to be such a big one. It does kind of look a little funny with it. <laughs> being there but then once i saw the color of it i decided just to go with it because yeah that actually works out really good with the color scheme in here so there you go that is that this is the first one done and there's two other ones which we won't be getting to today but the idea is to kind of follow the same suit so basically this is going to be the sidewalk and the patrons can kind of walk down the sidewalk and you know in typical cyberpunk fashions we all sorts of advertisements and stuff as we go along here and this will start to bring this whole thing together we will be doing some more detailing on the building in fact i might actually change up some of the shape of the building a little bit so it's not just one big box hold on a second we don't need phantoms and i'm looking forward to building these next ones i'm gonna start designing that i don't know when we'll get to it uh, we got a lot done, actually, uh, in the past couple episodes between the big building and then designing this up. So maybe uh, maybe next episode we can get back to some more farming and more shenanigans and things like that. It's been a good mix so far, I feel, of the building and the hanging out with the hermits and having a good time. So I want to keep that up. That's the, that's the vibe of the season. And hopefully you guys are digging it. Hopefully you're enjoying it. We're having such a good time. I don't know what it is. This season just feels different. It just hits a little different than in the past, right? And we're having such a good time, and I hope that continues for the entire season. But anyway, that's going to do it for me today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. Hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you do that before you go. With that said, I'll see you again next time. Have a good one, everyone.